Good day, class. Welcome once again to, on, to our another session of differential equation. And our topic for today is about trajectory. We are still on the geometric applications of the first order, first degree differential equation. So now our topic again is about trajectory. So trajectory are curves that intersect a given curve with a specified angle of intersection. Meaning, so you, are, you have a given angle like for example this circle or any angle, a curve, or any angle, then you have a trajectory. So you are having, like for example, you have you are playing dart. So nakai trajectory, you plan to hit. So there is a curve that will intersect with another curve. So that intersection is the point of intersection, while this is the given curve, and this is the angle or the trajectory okay so in in solving trajectories you need to recall some identities especially in angle between two lines especially when we are talking about isogonal trajectory so let's recall so this is uh, a topic in your analytic geometry so, angle between two lines. Hopefully, you still remember your angle between two lines in your uh, high school or senior high school. Okay? So, but if you forget, this is a quick review of this angle between two lines. So, if a certain angle, P, is a counterclockwise angle formed in rotating L2 to L1, so from line 2 to line 1, then the slope, which is, again, as I've told you in the last topic, in analytic geometry, the slope is equivalent to the tangent P. Okay? So, in trajectory, tan or the slope is equivalent to the slope 1 minus the slope 2 over 1 plus slope 1 times slope 2, meaning, the slope, for example, this one has a slope minus, or for example, this is the uh, this is the given curve. So if we say this is your slope two or slope one, so you get you get the slope, you get the slope of this one, you deduct it over one plus slope one times slope two. So from here, so it will look like this. So, it will look like this, partly like this. So, you have a given curve, a uh, curve, this one, a given curve. Then, you have a trajectory. So, nakai target. Then, pag hit ni mo sa target, mao na siya ang mohang point of intersection. So, katong pag intersect nila, na magform na siya a certain angle, which is P. So, mana si trajectory. Now, there are two types of trajectory. The first type of trajectory is isogonal trajectory, which is the angle P is not equal to 90 degrees. So, pasabot, uh, a trajectory that is not exactly equal to 90 degrees is called isogonal trajectory. While, if it is perfectly 90 degrees or equal to 90 degrees, then the trajectory is called orthogonal trajectory. Okay? So, the first example, or this example, will be for the ortho, uh, isogonal trajectory. Okay? So, in this given example, it states that find the isogonal trajectory of the given circles. So, we have this one, we have the general solution, which is the x squared, plus y squared is equals to c. So, this is a general solution. Meaning, we have a family of curves or family of circles. So, meaning, uh, depending on the value of your arbitrary constant c, it could be this circle or this circle or this circle or this circle or any other circle. So, since this one actually passing to the origin, so... It's clearly a circle passing with uh, with the center on the origin. So, here, general solution, if we, again, general solution 
could be many a family of circles because we we don't know the exact placement of that unless you have the value of arbitrary constancy or you have a particular solution so since this is an ar a general solution meaning you have any curves any circle so if the angle of intersection are to be 45 degrees meaning if it's like your dart diba if you look your dart so for example you have many circles sa, sa dart no in the dart board daghan mong circle daghan mong targeto diba na daghan mong igon depende sa uh, unsang numero or unsang points ang gusto nimong madidap so from there you you are planning or you are setting up your trajectory of the dart pin so that you will hit a certain point na gusto nimong igon so for example you hit a certain point so that point is your point of intersection which is this one okay this is your point of intersection the angle that forms between your two curves is your angle p okay so the angle for the two lines or curves okay now the the thing you will do in solving isogonal tra trajectory is to remember the formula of uh, angle between two lines and you need to derive first the given equation. Why? Okay. So, let me do this one. So, sir, why do we need to derive the given equation? So, the given equation is x squared plus y squared equal c so this is the general solution of the circle so this is your x squared plus y squared equals c this is a circle okay the question sir why do we need to derive okay we need to derive the given equation because so Okay, let me write it. We need to derive the given equation because we want to get the slope. Because again, in solving an uh, in solving trajectories or uh, geometric application, you will always end up with the derived uh, with respect to okay so from here so y y with respect to x because the slope is dy over dx in differential calculus or or in this subject so this is your slope so we want to get the slope of this one so meaning sir if we derive the given general solution di we will get the slope of that given curve or in this case that is a circle so when we derive this one so meaning we have we need to derive your x squared with respect to your dx plus derive your y squared over dx equals derive with respect to dx now when you derive this one we know how to derive x squared that is 2x dx right so derivative of x squared that is 2x dx over dx that's the reason why when you derive this one you will only have that 2x so plus derivative of y squared that is 2y dy derivative of y squared that is 2y dy right over dx equals derivative of a constant again c is a constant so that becomes zero so therefore what remains in our equation okay let me look at it 2x plus 2y dy over dx is equivalent to zero so if you look here okay so if you look here we have this given equation so from here we just need to get the dy over dx because we want to get 
what is the slope of this given circle? Okay? Our target here, here is to get the slope of the given equation. So, if you, all, if you encounter problems of isogonal trajectory, you first derive the given equation, okay, so that you could get the slope of that given equation, okay? Because later, we will be using the angle between two lines. And on the angle between two lines, we only talk about the slope, diba? The slope 1 and the slope 2. So, we need to get first the slope of our circle. So, we have dy over dx equals. So, when you transfer it to the other side, you have 2x. Oops, we have 2y here. So, therefore, your dy over dx is just equal to negative 2x over 2y, right? Or this is just equal to negative x over y. So, let me choose the color. So, okay. So, therefore, our slope now is equivalent to this. This is our slope. Okay. Or... This is our slope of the given circle, okay? So, from here, we need to derive it so that you just get, or you can just get the slope, okay? Next. So, after that, you already have the slope of the curve or the circle. So, since the angle of intersection is 45 degrees, okay? So, let me write that one also. So, color verse. So, since the other curve, which is the one, the trajectory, since that one, the the angle between that one since the angle okay so the angle of intersection since the angle of intersection is 45 degrees so if you could see here if you could see here so, if you look at the given again, okay, if you look, oops, sorry. Okay. So, if you look again at the given, okay, so the given state that the angle of intersection is 45 degrees, okay, so that is from the given. So, so, from there, we, we will be using, okay, so from there, since the angle of intersection is 45 degrees and not 90 degrees, then this angle is, or this intersection, angle of intersection is the type of Trajectory which is isogonal trajectory. Meaning, this trajectory will form a, a angle or form an angle that is not equivalent to 90 degrees. Okay, sorry for moving my uh, camera. Okay, now... So, since we have that one, so remember that the formula between two curves, okay, so I, I write this one above, so for you to recall, so you have angle between two curves because we don't, we have two curves, the circle and the trajectory. So, we have two curves. So, tangent P is equal to 
m1 or the slope 1 minus is the slope 